These pictures tell the story of Darlene Woods' up and down battle with the bulge. All my life, I've been a yo-yo dieter. At her highest, the 55-year-old tipped the scale at 234 pounds. That was two years ago. This is Darlene today, after losing 92 pounds. My smaller clothes, I love it. Her first step, commitment. You have to be mentally ready to do it. She joined Weight Watchers and slowly the pounds started peeling off. She went from a size 20 to a size 8. Her top tip? Write it before you bite it. In fact, studies show dieters that write down everything they eat each day lose twice as much weight as those who don't. Websites like MyFitnessPal.com and SparkPeople.com can help you track your meals and your workouts for free. It's a trick Melissa O'Connell has learned. Two years ago, she weighed 246 pounds and was borderline diabetic. When I sat in chairs, I was overflowing. In six months, she lost 50 pounds and dropped her cholesterol from 207 to 169. Since then, with diet and exercise, she's lost a total of 100 pounds and 77 and a half inches. That's 10 sizes. That was me then, this is me now. Her trainer, Adriana Morales, concentrates on total body exercises that you can do anywhere. Like squats, lunges, and push-ups, instead of pure cardio. And that's one of the mistakes a lot of people do. You know, they do a lot of cardio to lose weight, but they don't build the muscle. And if you don't have muscle, obviously you're not going to have a fast metabolism. Not on the diet. I made a lifestyle change. Simple changes made that have added up to nearly 200 pounds and counting. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.